Chasing after a dream is one of the most fulfilling and intimidating things you can do. I'm Lauren and I am chasing my dream of sailing the world. At 22, I bought a 30 year old 50 foot Beneteau sailboat and decided to solo sail it with my foster fail first mate, Mako. We've been out here for two years, literally diving into everything this lifestyle is about. While I love this way of living more than anything, dreams don't come to life without sacrifices and hard work. Join me as I navigate the waters of real and raw single-handed sailing. So the Fort Lauderdale show is literally starting this week and I'm trying to finish a video, but um, I'm headed back to the boat really, really soon and I will give you a glimpse of the boat shows in the next video, fingers crossed. There's a reason I live on a boat because I came to land and my hard drive crashed, which is why this video is so late. It was supposed to be posted three weeks ago. I just got the hard drive back and it was being repaired while I was in Annapolis. And right before Annapolis, my camera stopped working. So I sent in my camera and I got a rental camera. By the way, you can do that. When I shipped that back from Annapolis, I left my SD cards from Annapolis in it. Also an SD card that still had content on it from for the video I'm editing right now, which is supposed to be posted three weeks ago. Um, and I did call about my camera and it was completely broken. It was a uh, air kept popping up. So they're replacing it. Um, so I'm waiting on my SD cards now, not my hard drive. I got my hard drive two days ago. Um, and the SD card also has a lot of the Annapolis content on it. So I don't have a camera and I'm down two SD cards with content on them and on my GoPro. So this video is supposed to be posted three weeks ago. Once I get on the boat, everything will get back to normal. Um, I am backing up my hard drives now. I got a really big one and they're all getting backed up, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. I had a lot of fun making it and a lot of fun going through the content. Thank you guys and Mako and I are doing very well on land and we'll be back to the boat soon. Yeah, feels good to be on land, doesn't it? Mako, come on. He's slowly following me. I figured it'd be a little bit more normal to have me outside if my camera will behave. Okay. So I am clearly back on land. I was talking with my parents when I was still in Grenada and we were thinking, why don't I do a little highlight reel of this year? So many things have happened this year. It was truly an amazing year. I got to grow so much as a sailor, diver, person with relationships etc it took a toll on me eight months at sea took a toll on me but I really want to relive the highlights and all the amazing times which were 95% of it I know at the end I was pretty burnt out and I want to say I want to start by saying that yes I was burnt out and I've been burnt out for about seven to eight years and it comes in waves when I get a lot to do it hits a little harder and when the list gets shorter I'm not feeling it as much and I'm able to heal a little bit that being said I'm glad I left when I did and no I'm not done sailing I'm not done at all there is still a lot to go so you guys will continue seeing me I'm not taking a break from YouTube I just wanted to say that this year was amazing truly amazing and I couldn't have done it without you, without you watching the videos and those of you who came on charters, I couldn't have done it without you either. And it was honestly one of some of the best times of my life this year. I just want to relive some of my favorite moments with you guys. I'm kind of going to be all over the place in this video. I guess I'll start with January. My best friend from high school, Anne and I sailed back to the Bahamas and the boat was loaded with so many things and we saw dolphins right off the bat. We had some of the roughest seas I had all season sailing back.
January was probably one of, every month was amazing this year, but January really sticks out to me. I had a lot of balance and structure. I was, I mean, first of all, we rang in the new year and it was the most amazing time. We danced so much and just enjoyed each other's company. We went shark diving at January 1st. It was the best way to bring in the new year. We made it. <laughs> Yeah, I'll make you a new necklace. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Am I ready? What's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. <laughs> Gonna go shark diving with some hammerheads and some tiger sharks. Uh, don't forget to smash that like button. And uh, comment and subscribe. What? <laughs> And then the rest of the month, I did a lot of upgrades and projects. Cause this is what I made for. I grabbed it by the heart. And I don't let it go. Do the impossible. was also diving a lot. I worked with the Windsor Academy in Nassau and I got to help some kids learn how to free dive and we worked with the coral restoration and then Andre and I we were diving in the surf break. It was just a amazing month full of so much balance and I'm really happy I had that month to do that. My goal for this next year is to kind of have that balance again. Happy, I literally, I can't right now. God is amazing, people are amazing, and I will get this. And then moving on into charters, I've always wanted to see a tiger shark. And it's been, tiger sharks are my favorite species. And when we were doing the charters with the hammerheads and the reef sharks and the stingrays, I saw my first tiger shark. We got the baby and then we got Joker. Um, thanks to Dre for feeding. He brought in Joker the last, my last shark dive when my brother and friend, and friend Sabrina were in.
it was just that whole month and a half in Bimini was another, everything was a highlight this year, honestly. Those charters were so much fun. I've never been in the water as much as I did during that month and a half that I did when I was chartering. And so thank you all for coming and thank you guys for hopefully enjoying that content. We did the Zapona shipwreck. We did Honeymoon Harbor with the stingrays. We did the reef sharks, the hammerheads. We had dolphins show up. My parents came to visit and it was, and the weather was amazing. Unlike how it usually can, and March goes either way and we just got amazing weather and we just had some glassy days eating lionfish. Like one day Allie and I went out, we saw dolphins on our way out and then I shot some lionfish and lobster for our charters. And then we had brought limes on the boat and we had lionfish sashimi above the hammerhead spot in the dinghy on just this crystal clear day. And it really doesn't get much better than those days. It was amazing.
and from there I went off grid. I still will not tell you where that was. I do a lot of research with the charts and Google Maps and I find my spots that way usually. And it was just another glassy week with the most stunning conditions, crystal clear water, and I was anchored with coral reefs right behind me. Whenever I'm away from the boat or whenever I'm overwhelmed with projects or I get burnt out, that's the first thing I miss is that week and weeks that I can have like that. And that was probably the highlight of the whole year. Paddle boarding, just no sound. It was amazing. And I think my video reflected that because it's done very well. Um, that was a huge highlight of the year and I'm glad you guys got to see that also. Look at the fish! I'm dreaming right now. Something else. <laughs> Moving forward, right after that was my shaft seal leak. And that did take a toll on me. And I think that kind of triggered the stress for the rest of the year. Because I, I just never came down from that point. But that week was amazing. We caught so many mahi. It was my first time swimming with mahi. We got to swim with pilot whales, reef sharks. The coral was beautiful. The anchorage was stunning. And I'm so happy Banner was there. I'm so happy the guys from Spanish Wells were there. And it, it just, it was an amazing time as well. Just talking and sharing stories, enjoying what we all love, being on the ocean. And it's just another good time. And I saw Pyrozone for the first time and Something was off, 
and I sat down on my laptop. The inverter started beeping at me. I had the bilge pump running all night, but there's three feet of water in my bilge at least throughout the whole boat and bilge pumps aren't working. My positive bus bars are underwater, so I'll keep you guys updated, but. Banner, how did you wake up this morning? <sighs> to a lot of water <laughs> everywhere. You gotta call it their pilot wheel, so Banner and I just jumped in. Moving on to Spanish Wells when I was um, just overwhelmed beyond what I've anything and there I met so many amazing people in my two three weeks there. Brian sang, Brian sang for the whole anchorage and I really felt the sailing community come together when I was in Spanish Wells. Just so many boats in and out. I, I want to turn this whole thing upside down. Up these over mountains to the valleys of wind, we will carry you over troubled waters. A ship who dreams of fairy used to sail in. Paint a wall, learn to dance, call your mom, buy a boat, drink a beer, sing a song, make a friend. Can we all just get along? I buddy boated and that took me to the Abaco is where I met my family. And they helped me with projects and we just had another great few weeks of snorkeling, fishing, spending time together, quality time. Quality time with people was a was a big thing for me this year. Top button? No, it's already filming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm putting Inner. all these over on you. What is out here? What do you keep ta What do you keep talking to? That's a bolt. <laughs> Are you okay, bub? On that note, I got to meet so many amazing people and spend time with older friends, create new friendships. 
um, spend time with some of my favorite bohemians. That holds a special place in my heart and that definitely kept me going sometimes. Oh, and <laughs> on that note, the flotilla. Um, in between January and chartering, we had the flotilla, which is where I met a lot of new people. And sailing's weird. You may see them again next week, next month, or it could be 10 years. And so it definitely makes our gatherings a bit more special and I think we cherish them a little bit more. Take my drink with me! <laughs> How gorgeous is this? Why? At that point. Okay, we're moving now. It was amazing meeting so many people and just us all being able to relax for a day or two and not stress about what need, needed to be worked on. And so back to June, um, when I left Nassau after some more um, upgrades and repairs, it was the first time that I was truly like, I have nowhere to be besides Grenada before a hurricane hits. And it was the first time that I could just really go with the wind and not a date. I spent time in the Xuma soaking up the crystal clear water and relaxing and recovering. Money don't come easy. We have made it. Let's go paddleboarding. What is it mean? To be free, to be free in this American dream. And then Long Island, I got to see a lot of my friends who are about to compete. I also had a tiger shark swim around the boat at Anchorage and then dolphins swim around the boat at Anchorage. Those were two things that were definitely a highlight of the summer months. So I'm up here doing a workout. Yesterday there were dolphins and today there is a massive tiger shark right there. And then my mom came and we got to explore some new places that were beautiful. Just snorkeling, spear fishing, the drone shots just still blow my mind from those locations. And 
then I set off for my longest sail yet, and that was to Puerto Rico from Crooked, well, my longest sail was sail yet. And the conditions were amazing. I could have stayed out there for days and days and days on end with those conditions. And through the Mona Passage, look at all the minnows saying goodbye. About a week and a half in Puerto Rico bouncing from town to town going to Costco and prepping the boat to sail to Grenada which was my final destination got to see some family friends in the Virgin Islands but at that point I was ready to get to Grenada and I will be going back to the USVI so there will be more of that but then the sail to Grenada really kicked our butt <laughs> we had sustained it was we had pretty much sustained 30 knots of wind the entire time the squalls were not bad thankfully the autopilot was acting up a bit beautiful time out in the water so after the sail to Puerto Rico, five and a half days, the sail to Grenada was four days, and all of that time on the water was amazing. in Grenada I didn't really capture much there but got to see a lot of new and old friends again in Grenada which was another big highlight just knowing that I made it which was my goal about a year ago just felt amazing and then looking back at everything that this year held and there were so many beautiful things so many beautiful wildlife encounters aerial shots from the drone, sails, and I just wanted to share that with you guys. It is beautiful and this life is amazing and it does come with a lot of work. That's all I wanted to say and I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you so much for subscribing, my patrons, thank you so much. If you guys can't become a patron, liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing all of those do help so much and i do read all of your comments i don't always get around to responding to them but i do read all of them um i just appreciate you guys for following along and i'm not going anywhere thank you guys and i hope you kind of enjoyed this little highlight reel of the beautiful life that sailing can offer
Come here. Can you say hi? Yeah, good boy. Come on, you wanna go inside? 